Hi everyone, I'm going to show you guys how to do this MIT integral. So to do this question, so we'll have to use substitution. Substitution, I want to show you guys of a method that you can use to do this question. So you have to know that tan, tan A plus B equals to tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A into tan B, right? So using that, you can write tan X equals to tan X over 2 plus X over 2, right? So you can write tan X equals to 2 tan X over 2 over 1 minus tan x over 2 squared, right? So using this, if this is, so this is your opposite side, and this is your adjacent side. So using those two, you can find sine x and cos x, right? So how to find that? So if I just, so basically, you know, uh, the opposite side squared plus the adjacent side squared gives you the hypotenuse. I don't have to like explain that, uh, with, you know, I don't have to give a detailed explanation, right? Cause that's basic maths. So the opposite side squared plus the adjacent side squared and those two together added. And the square root taken out of the sum will give you the hypotenuse. So I'll just hypo, hypo, all right, hypotenuse. So this would be four tan squared, tan squared x, uh, tan x over two squared plus one minus two tan x over 2 squared plus tan x over 2 and this is to the power 4, right? So, because this is there's a square here. I forgot to write that down. So, it's tan x over 2 squared 1 minus tan x over 2 squared in brackets squared, right? You get it, right? So all of this added together will give you 1 plus 2 tan x over 2 squared plus tan x over 2 to the power of 4. And the whole thing in a square. So can you see, I can simplify this down into uh, 1 plus tan x over 2 squared x over 2 squared to the power 2 yeah you can see it right so if I take the square root of this I end up with the hypotenuse which is 1 plus tan x over 2 squared right so that's our hypotenuse so using that, you can find sine x equals opposite side, which is 2 tan, so 2 over 1 plus tan squared x over 2, and cos x equals to the adjacent side, which is 1 minus tan x over 2 squared over 1 plus tan x over 2 squared. So now you have the terms you need. Let's go back into our integration. Let me write it with another color. So we had the integration of 1 over 2 plus 2 sine x plus cos x dot dx, right? So now you can put in 1 over 2 plus 2 into sine x, which is 
2 tan x over 2 over 1 minus tan x over 2 squared. plus cos x, which is 1 minus tan x over 2 squared over 1 plus tan x over 2 squared dot dx. Now let's take a substitution of, mm, let me write this with another color again, t equals tan x over 2. So if if t equals tan x over 2, what's dt over dx? dt over dx is 1 over 2 into 6 squared x over 2, right? The differentiation of tan x is 6 squared x, right? So this you can write half into, and 6 squared you can write like this, 1 plus tan x over 2 squared. Yeah. So, dt over, so 2 dt over 1 plus tan squared x over 2 equals to du. Sorry, dx. Where did du come from? It's because, you know, I, I always do substitutions with u. u equals, uh, u equals x, u equals something. But I stopped using u because, uh, I've received these comments, uh, in the past saying my u looks like x. So since, uh, since my u looks like x, I'm just gonna use t as my substitution. <laughs> so now let's. Let's go to our question again. So it's the integration of 1 over, so 2 plus, now instead of 2 sine x, we wrote this, and now instead of tan x over 2, we can put the substitution, right? So 2 into t over 1 minus t squared, plus cos x, which is 1, I'm sorry, I think I made a mistake, uh, I just, I spotted it, now this has to be 1 plus, alright, because it's the hypotenuse, so it's opposite over hypotenuse, I wrote it down here, I made a small mistake over there, yeah, so this is plus, alright, I hope you all understood that. Yeah, so it's plus over, yeah, plus, so, and cos x is 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared, right? Dot 2 dt over 1 plus t squared. Okay. Now it's simplification all the way. So I hope you all understood so far of everything what I'm doing. So I think I missed another thing. So here we had two. So this has to be four, right? Because if you look carefully, two into two gives you four. So that's four, yeah. So yeah, to find your errors, you have to go through what you did again, right? No one's perfect, we all make mistakes, so yeah. Let's find the common denominator, because we have a whole number here. So it's 2 into 1 plus t squared plus 4t plus 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared, right? into 2 dot dt over 1 plus t squared. Can you see these two cancel off? Because this will end up in the numerator, so you can cancel off that like that if you like. But you can see that these two cancel off. Simple, easy. Now your integration is 2 over 
2 plus 2d squared plus 4t plus 1 minus t squared. So here in, yeah, that's, that's everything. I think I didn't make any mistakes so far. So now you have the integration of 2 over 3 plus 4t plus t squared dot dt. Easy. Now you have, now you have to factorize your denominator and use partial fractions, right? So you can write it as 2 over I'm straight away going to uh, write the factorized format because you all know how to do it, right? So it's t plus 1 into t plus 3 dot dt. Mm, yeah. If you guys have any doubts with the partial fractions, please drop a comment. I can help you guys out. So 2 over t plus 1 into t plus 3 equals to a over t plus 1 plus b over t plus 3. So 2 equals a into t plus 3 plus b into t plus 1. What I did was I multiplied every single term by t plus 1 and t plus 3. So when t equals minus 1, a equals 2 divided by minus 1 plus 3, which is 1. And when t equals minus 3, b equals 2 divided by minus 3 plus 1, which is minus 1. So you can write your partial fraction as, now your integration is going to be uh, 1 over t plus 1 minus 1 over t plus 3. This is what you have to integrate now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? See, uh, the substitution just made it very easy for us. <laughs> so now what you can do is, so the integration of 1 over t plus 1 is ln t plus 1 minus ln. The integration of 1 over t plus 3 is t plus 3. That's easy. You can straight away write your answer like that. And our substitution was t equals tan x over 2. So your final answer is ln tan x over 2 plus 1 minus ln tan x over 2 plus 3 plus c and yeah i forgot one more thing when you leave your answers like this put a modulus in between so this is your final answer what a good question right <laughs> not bad so if you guys have any doubts and if you guys like my teaching leave a like and subscribe and drop a comment if you guys have any doubts, alright? So thank you so much. Have a great day.